So here's the update you've all been wanting on our little friend here. We ended up naming him Rocco because it kind of reminds us of Rocky the fighter who comes out on top. And this baby clearly was a fighter who came out on top. He's very lucky that that bobcat did not get the best of him. If you are squeamish, you may not want to watch this video because I get really in depth with his wounds so you can really see them and they're not pretty. In addition to all the wounds, he had really big mats all over his body. So today we decided to cut a bunch of them out for him and they were rough. They were so tight and there was so much hair that they were literally right up against his skin causing bleeding. And then we found little burrs in some of the mats that we also kind of scratched away. And the whole time this baby did not mind. Yes, I call him a baby even though we think he's about eight years old. Here I'm giving him his pain medicine to help with all of these spots all over his body. They were extremely swollen, full of tons of pus, blood. His face is about twice the size that it normally should be. You can see in the ear canal there that he even got tore up there. Here's one of the biggest mats he had. That whole palm of my hand is full of hair. And all of his wounds were extremely hot, so we know that they're super infected. We are not taking him to the emergency vet because as you can see, he is not in distress. So we're gonna get him into the vet tomorrow. That way we don't spend a crazy extra amount of money at the emergency vet because he's not gonna be the only emergency case we have. So we really need to put our money towards ones that actually need the emergency vet. His pain meds will keep him happy until then. You can see here all the fur that we removed from him. And he still needs a lot more taken off.